we, we talk about this all the time, about the mouth being sort of the gateway to the body in terms of health and wellness. And so making sure to follow those best practices, not, you know, not exclusive to Steriliner or Sterismile or Sterabrush, but general sanitizing practices is so important. And so that's, that's really where our passion lies for creating this line is keeping people smiling, keeping people safe and healthy. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Raving Patients Podcast. As you know, I'm your host, Dr. Len Tao, and I want to thank the sponsors of the podcast today. We're talking about cloud dentistry and doc sites, so please check them out. You'll probably hear a little bit of their uh, messages throughout the broadcast, but uh, check them out. I think you'll like what they offer. Today's episode is a little different take on things. We're going to be talking a little bit clinical. We're going to be talking a little bit how to grow your practice um, in other ways. We're, we're going to also kind of talk about aligners and why they're gross and why you need to clean them. So I'm really excited today to have two people I've, well, one I've known for a really long time, one I've known only a short period of time, but there's a connection between all of us, so it's a kind of a small world. So please welcome to the Raving Patients podcast, Trevor Heyer and Ian Miller from Steriliner. Thanks guys for joining me today. Thank you so much for having us. My pleasure. Well, first off, why don't we just get out, out of the way? Let's talk about, uh, before we even introduce you guys, why don't we just talk about the actual product that we're going to be talking about today. So let's just, let's not wait till the end. Let's just get it out of the way and talk about the product that you have, which is called Steriliner, what it is and what it does. And then I'll have you guys introduce yourself. Awesome. Absolutely. So Steriliner is the one-stop solution for keeping your aligners, retainers, sleep apnea devices, mouth guards, all of those things clean and fresh. Eliminating the bacteria that builds up on those is paramount to clear aligner appliance therapy. Um, and so sterile aligner really sort of serves as that benchmark for keeping your aligners clean. And tasting amazing, don't forget. You know, one of the biggest complaints that, that offices will get from their patients is how do I keep my aligner clean and how do I get rid of that funky smell and taste? And that's what sterile aligner does. It solves those problems that the office gets. Great. So now that we got it out of the way, let's have you guys introduce yourselves um, so those who don't know who you are will learn more about you in particular. So I'll go ahead and start. My name is Trevor Heyer. Uh, I'm proud to be the chief operating officer of Heyer Labs, the creators of Steriliner. Uh, I'm also proud to work with Ian Miller, uh, who will introduce himself in a second, who's both our director of global sales and uh, my uncle. So we get a lot of time together and it's super wonderful. Um, I've been in this role for the last few years now. Uh, it's been incredible to be a part of the dental community, to say the least. I grew up in a family of dentists and orthodontists. And so this you know, particular job, this product, hits close to home for me, both as an aligner wearer um, and as somebody who's really passionate about the dental industry at large. So that's just a little bit about me. And Ian? Well, my name is Ian Miller. I'm the director of global sales for Higher Labs uh, and Trevor's uncle. And um, just a little bit about my background is that up until six years ago, uh, the only involvement I had with dental companies was actually going to the dentist. Uh, I, I, um, I came from an apparel background. And what that brings to the table, believe it or not, is a wide variety of different things, both from uh, an industry point of view, B2B point of view, global sales point of view, uh, unusual product point of view. And it is something that we, we kind of um, figured out a way so that with my background and experience, I was able to bring that to the dental world. Uh, side fun fact, which everyone always likes to find out, is that I'm actually in the Guinness Book of World Records. And um, it's something that I'm uh, very proud of. Did it to raise money for a couple of children's charities here in Montreal, but actually spent 96 hours playing baseball. And or it was actually softball, but got us into the Guinness Book of World Records, and um, that's kind of a, like a fun thing about my background. And then, um, so just so everybody knows, I met Ian a number of years ago. It's got to be at least five years ago now, Ian, at, at one of the dental conferences. Um, and then we we saw each other at Smiles at Sea again, and we we've been you know because I go to all the trade shows and you do as well, so we've seen each other forever there. Um, and now Trevor lives literally across the street from me in Florida. He, he's literally, like, like literally directly across the street. We share the same home, homeowners association, so we're part of the same community, but he's across the street, uh, which is kind of ironic when you think about it. So let's get into some of the topics here. Um, obviously, we're going to talk about, you know, why aligners are dirty, 
what makes them gross, why you have to clean them. So let's start off with a question that you know could be geared for, for consumers who aren't listening to this, but I, I think dentists should also know, why is it so important to take care of the patient's removable appliances, or why is it important for the patients to take care of them? So every day you wear your aligners, bacteria is going to get in there. And bacteria does well. I could say this on, on this podcast. That bacteria basically has two functions. It replicates and it defecates. And so in your aligner, you basically have this disgusting bacteria that is finding its way into the microscopic dimples that are inherent in any plastic or acrylic. And all that happens is no matter how much you clean it with other products or home remedies, that bacteria just grows. And it ends up causing the aligner to get cloudy, yellow, disgustingly tasting, disgusting smell. And so when you are complaining about that smell or that discoloration, what you're actually complaining about is the bacteria that is sitting against your teeth and your gums all day long, every day. So you're brushing your teeth, but then you're putting your aligner back in and that bacteria is just going right back onto your teeth. It's kind of gross. Oh, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. And one of the, you know, apart from the fact that it's gross to think about, gross to talk about even, it's, it's bad for patients. It's bad for their doctors, really because of compliance. Because the aligners don't smell good, don't taste good, don't look good, patients don't want to wear them. And so you have a situation in which not only are you putting your health at risk by wearing a dirty appliance, but you stop wearing it because it's just, it's not enjoyable to wear. Something that you're already having to put in your mouth that may not be so pleasant to have there in the first place is made infinitely more unpleasant by that bacteria, by that smell. One of the things that I really like to point out when talking about Steriliner is talking about sort of how it plays into, into the marketplace, because as I'm sure we all can appreciate, there's a whole lot of cleaning systems for aligners. And this is not to say that any aligner cleaning system sets out to not do its job or doesn't make its best effort to do its job. But when we talk about traditional appliance cleaning, aligner care, the typical oral appliance cleaning system bubbles, has this element of effervescence, and is serving to eliminate the odor-causing bacteria, typically the four or five most common odor-causing bacteria. That, that qualifier there, odor-causing, is a really important component of what the claim is. When we talk about 99% of odor-causing bacteria, that's not necessarily the yeast and mold that gather in those dimples of the aligner, as Ian was mentioning. Steriliner is different in that not only does steriliner come as a liquid as opposed to a solid, and a liquid can always do, in this particular case, more as a sanitizing agent than a solid can, but steriliner sanitizes 17 of the most common odor-causing bacteria, as well as general bacteria, yeast, and mold found in your mouth, found in your bathroom. And so when we talk about sort of the, the place that steriliner occupies within the market, it's to not just make your aligners smell good on the surface, but it's to actually kill those germs, make them fresher, make them taste, smell, and feel like they did when you first took them out of that out of that plastic, whether it's Invisalign, Viveras, Clear Correct, whatever it might be. So that's just something we, we like to point out when we talk about Steriliner and the differences, uh, some of the differences between Steriliner and the other products on the market. Great, and that's my next question was, how is it different? So you kind of answered it there. So we'll skip over that one. So. Just how dirty are removable appliances? I know we talked about a little bit about, you know, what causes the, the problem, but how dirty are they in comparative to other things? So that's a great question. And there's, there's a couple of different elements to touch on here. So on the one hand, there's germs, of course, that come from your own mouth. And it's important to note here, this is a question that we get often, um, whether it's at shows in the booth or wherever else, are you likely to get sick from the bacteria that's in your own mouth? And the answer to that is not super likely. However, that's just one element of a wide variety of situations in which bacteria find their way onto aligners or toothbrushes is another example. People most of the time keep their aligners in their bathroom. And whether we like it or not, unfortunately, the best practice of keeping your aligner in that cool, damp area, the case in your bathroom, that's a breeding ground for all kinds of other bacteria that don't just come from your mouth, that breed and grow and proliferate on your aligners. 
Alternatively, there are also people who keep their aligners out on a cabinet, on a counter, and there's a variety of things that happen with those, whether they fall over, whether it's germs coming from your hands when you're washing them, whether it's germs coming from the toilet. Most people don't know that that germs from, you know, the toilet in your bathroom can spread up to six to 10 feet from the actual toilet bowl. So there's a lot of places where germs come from, where aligners are kept that aren't exclusive to your own mouth. And so aligners are extremely dirty and proper care both morning and night, especially in the morning, after you've worn them all night, after bacteria has built up, after you know, you've know you been sleeping for eight hours, hopefully, it's so imperative to clean those aligners. And as Ian was mentioning, it's a cumulative effect. So every day that goes on, that there's less and less sanitizing of the aligners, the more the bacteria builds and the harder it is to keep them clean. So it's super important to start early and often when taking care of your aligners and sanitizing them properly. So, you know, it's very interesting. Yeah, you know what one of the most dirty, bacteria-filled products in the world is? Money, right? Most people put their change in their pocket and their money in their pocket. And then when they get to the restaurant, what do they do with their aligner? They put it in their pocket. And that aligner is sitting next to the coins, the money, you put your hand in. It's just, it's disgusting. I mean, under a microscope, you would really have a horrible, horrible view of what's going on in your liner. This is such a brilliant point because when you're taking money out or you're, you're sitting down at a, at a table, you're, you're often before, unfortunately, going to wash your hands before eating, the first thing you do is take your liners out right when you get to the restaurant, before you've gone to the bathroom to wash your hands or sanitize. So when you're taking your hands out of your pockets, when you're putting your keys away or your money away, whatever it is, when your hands are growing right in your mouth, unfortunately, that's one of the primary entryways to to getting the body sick. And so germs come from all sorts of places. That's just another great example. So it's funny, I'm a poker player and I was at a Parks Casino in, in Philadelphia, not far from where I work. And um, there was a guy who had aligners in. He, he ordered food, went to get the food, took his aligners out. But after touching poker chips, you know how dirty poker chips are? I mean, that, 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 those are disgusting with, the, with everybody who physically touches them, the dealer, the, 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 all, the, all the players who are playing. I mean, that's a nasty situation. So I understand what you mean by the, the money part. That's gross. Let's talk about the best practices in taking care of your, you know, not only aligners, but removal appliances in general. So how do you recommend people take care of them to ensure that they're properly cleaned and, and the actual aligners are properly being cleaned properly. It starts with consistency. I think the number one thing we, we talk about a lot is building up good habits of taking care of not only your hygiene by brushing your teeth, but of your appliances as well, because those are an extension you know, of, of your mouth. So one of the things that, that we worked really hard to achieve with Steriliner is no change in the daily routine. In fact, you know, that's sort of a hallmark of Higher Labs products is integrating solutions into what people are already doing so as not to add any time, effort, energy uh, into their routine. And so when a patient is brushing their teeth, what, what we instruct them to do is to put their aligners in the Steriliner soaking dish, obviously after washing their hands first, leaving them to soak while you brush your teeth. And once they've soaked for two to three minutes, they're completely sanitized. And so... You're able to take them out, put them back in your mouth, and wear them. And so that's one big key is to be, you know, sanitizing your aligners early and often, right when you get them. The other thing that we really like to mention is actually a don't. You know, a lot of a lot of the instruction with clear aligner therapy specifically in terms of cleaning them is to brush them. There's a few problems with this. The biggest one from a sanitary perspective is that when you're brushing aligners, you're creating more microscopic grooves. And those grooves actually serve as a really nice breeding ground for those bacteria. And so not only are, you know, you potentially scratching your aligners, but you're creating a place, an environment for bacteria to grow and flourish. And so brushing your aligners, if there's no other solution, is probably better than doing nothing because at least you're agitating the bacteria and hopefully washing it off. But far better is to soak them in a solution, to rinse them off, get all of that, ba that bacteria away kill the bacteria completely, and then put the aligners back in your mouth. The same thing goes for like a lot of effervescent products that clean appliances, is that those two will create those microscopic dimples. They will make them bigger than ones that are already inherent in that plastic or acrylic. So what a lot of patients find is that the more they clean their appliance, the worse it gets. 
if you're not using a proper cleaner, and that's why so many of the aligner manufacturers say do not clean it with certain products, do not clean it with brushing it or soaps or vinegars, or things that, that most people would think are, are a natural way to clean it. But they actually recommend not to do that. Um, so you, you kind of want to look at what the aligner company is recommending. And most of them will recommend Steriliner. So obviously we're talking about some clinical stuff here about, you know, why it's, why it's dirty, you know, how to, how to make them cleaner. Um, let's talk about the really what I want to get to, which is how does this benefit the dental office using a product like Steriliner? So there's obviously a reason why uh, we want the dentist to offer this to their patients. So let's talk about the Steriliner as a, as a value add um, to increasing office revenue. So what do you have to say about that? How can we help dentists make more money? Social media. I know this may come as a shock to you, Len, but social media has become huge. And dental offices today are relying on social media for, uh, let's face it, a good chunk of their, their new patients. Well, imagine this, if you will. Somebody posts on social media, my teeth are beautifully straight now, thanks to Dr. Miller. But I got to tell you, for 18 months, my wife wouldn't kiss me because I could not get that smell out of my aligners. Thank you so much, Dr. Miller. How many people are going to be running to Dr. Miller for their aligners after seeing something like that? It's one of those posts that you just never want to see. But if your patient is happy and they're wearing their aligners and they straighten their teeth and they rave about the product and there's nothing negative about it, that's where the dental office gets new patients. And that's a patient, you know, doctor's dream is to have somebody post about how great an experience they had while wearing their aligners or any other appliance. We also, you know, in our offices, we see an extremely high reorder rate of Steriliner. And that's for a variety of reasons. I think the biggest two are that in the office, dentists, orthodontists, the, the, the clinician in the office is, is best able to explain how to use the product and why it's important to educate the patient as to how to keep their aligners clean, why it matters. And that's what we just spent the last 15 minutes talking about. The other, you know, big reason for that is because we're, you know, our business has been founded on principles of always protecting our doctors. And so when our doctors, whether it's including that in their starter kits or actually we sell Steriliner, um, our doctors sell their product for the lowest price you'll find it anywhere, whether it's from Amazon or anywhere else. And so patients tend to come and buy Steriliner from the office itself, not somewhere else online. And so it creates this environment where patients are not only excited to come back to the office because they're getting their braces off or because they're getting a new set of trays and moving their teeth along, but because they're able to keep those aligners clean and fresh as well. So when you talk about a product in an office that does anywhere from 75 to 90% of a reorder rate, you're talking about something that works really well, something that resonates well with the patient community. And in addition to that, you're talking about a product that really works and exists for the life of the patient. Because you go through aligner therapy and then you might be playing sports and have a sport guard and then you might have a sleep apnea device. So it's not this sort of, you know, singular cell. It's something that continues to go on with the patient as they move through aligner therapy, as they move through protective care in terms of sport guard or sleep apnea care. And so it's something that doctors can continue to leverage in their office as something that sets them apart from other offices and as something that really increases and enhances that patient experience. Gotcha. Can we talk about the economics so the doctors understand um, what type, what the, you know, I, I don't know if there's bulk quantities, but, you know, someone who places one or what they're going to be spending, what they're going to be reselling it for, because there's obviously a, a financial aspect to this. So I want to, which can incrementally grow the more patients that are using it. So, um, again, it's not just uh, liner patients. It's, it's people who have, you know, uh, sleep, sleep apnea appliances. There's a lot of different uses for this. So, so can you talk about the economics so the doctors understand? So we sell a, a case of Steriliner for $210, which is $17.50, $17.50 per bottle. Each bottle comes with a soaking dish so that there's, there's absolutely no ambiguity. We know exactly how much Steriliner you're putting in the dish because there's a fill line and they know how much they're getting. 
So 1750, and our bulk discounts start at just two cases. So we like to be able to economies of scale and just drive down the price as much as we can with the offices ordering more. Um, Stereo liner will come in three sizes. It comes in a 16 ounce, which is typically what offices will sell to a patient. And it also comes in a 3.2 ounce, which is what typically offices will give away. And we also have a gallon jug with a pump. And the gallon jug with the pump is great because that will allow the office to demonstrate to the patient by giving them a free service what this product does. So when the patient comes in to trade in their, their aligner or get their uh, retainer adjusted or anything like that, they could just take it, throw it into a stair aligner while the patient's in the chair. And before the patient gets out of the chair, they pull it out and either show a before or after, show how great this now tastes, smells how clean it is. It's crystal clear, like brand new. And a patient will generally say, that's amazing. Where can I get that? I have a funny story about that. There's something that I heard that was done in an office just yesterday that I absolutely loved with the gallon jug. So there was a particular doctor, I'm not going to name who it was, but it was somebody in South Florida. And what she was doing was brilliant. And I can't believe I had never thought of it before. What she was doing when her patients were coming in was the following. They would get in the chair, the aligners would be taken out. She would put the top tray in Steriliner, she would leave the bottom tray out of Steriliner. And what she would do at the end of the visit was she would hand the aligners back to the patient. And they would look at the aligners and they would say, what is going on here? What is wrong with my bottom aligner? And she would say, what do you mean? This is what it looked like when you came in. But I'll tell you something, by putting it in Steriliner, this is what your aligner could and quite frankly should look like. It should look like the top aligner. And it really does it does a really good job of showing that before and after because you can absolutely take a photo or you can show like a, a demo aligner that isn't someone's. But when someone sees what they've been putting in their own mouth and when they see what it should really be looking like, this is especially effective with, with teens when their parents are kind of sitting hovering over. When they see what, what their children are putting in their mouths and what it really should look like and, and how gross it is if you're not cleaning it, it's super, super effective. I just heard that story yesterday and I thought it was so interesting in explaining the efficacy of the product. And, and I got to tell you, with all the offices that I speak with, the one thing that many of them have in common is they don't love selling product, which is exactly what we don't want them to do. We don't want them to sell one bottle of sterile liner. I know that sounds crazy, but what we want them to do is educate their patients on what sterile liner does. By having the gallon in the office, they're educating them, just like Trevor said, and then they're waiting for the patient to want to buy the product. When you have an office who has product available for patients to buy versus an office who is trying to sell the patient something, that makes the world of difference because nobody who just invested $5,000, $7,000 is going to want to be sold on a $30 product. What they want is they want to be told how this is going to help them improve their patient experience, and then the doctor can say, yeah, it's available on Amazon for $37, but I keep some for my favorite patients at 30 Gotcha, gotcha. That that makes a whole lot of sense. And I will tell you, in the office, you know, you talk about how you use the gallon pump to display or show them the changes that it makes, um, and you can do be like before and after almost. Um, in our office, when, what we used to do was we used to put it in the, uh, in the, sterile, in the um, ultrasonic machine. We, in some cleaning solution, and they would ultrasonic it off, and it would look a little bit better. But when my my wife put in the sample that I brought home, um, and she put it in there, I mean, it, it, it's like looks brand new after you put it in there for just a few minutes. So huge, huge difference. So that's amazing. So so, but your your product is not, or your company is not only about an aligner product. It's also it has other products that you can also offer to uh, dentists to sell off to their patients. So can you talk about some of the other uh, products that you have? Absolutely. Um, so the easiest one to go from Sterilizer would be something called Sterismile. And what Sterismile is, it's an on-the-go aligner cleaner, which you go to the restaurant, you take your aligner out, you put it with your dirty money, and you before you put it back in your mouth, sanitize your hands. And we have a great hand sanitizer with benzoconium chloride, which you can sanitize your hands, keep them nice and and hydrated and not dry out like other hand sanitizers. You then take your aligner, put our Sterismile in the aligner, and you just plop it back in your mouth. You swallow the excess, 
And what that will do is that is actually going to freshen your breath while it's freshening up the aligner, getting rid of the bacteria, and will even whiten your teeth. It'll penetrate under the buttons or attachments so that while your teeth are being straightened, it's nice and clean, but you're also whitening at the same time. And it's very important to know that we use a gentle whitener. We use sodium bicarbonate. There's other products out there made by cosmetic companies that will use um, peroxide. And every dentist in the room is going to know that peroxide will quickly bleach your teeth. But if you're going to keep it in your tray all day long, a lot of patients will end up with having sensitivity from that. So we gently do it over the course of the treatment. And as well, we don't put any SLS in our product. Again, you don't want, or at least I don't want SLS sitting against my gum line all day long. So what this will do is this will clean your aligner, freshen your breath while making sure that your tooth health is continued and as good as possible. Um, from that, we go to Sterabrush, which is our toothbrush sanitizing spray. And this will get rid of the bacteria, yeast, and mold on your toothbrush instantly. So all those toothbrushes sitting in your bathroom, every time that toilet is flushed, uh, very often you have a couple of kids in the house, their toothbrushes sitting in a cup, sharing the cup, sharing the germs. And before they brush, this will get rid of that bacteria. So it, it's a full suite of products that are there for tooth health and making sure that we are getting rid of the bacteria some more wherever we can. Anything you need to add there, Trevor? You know, I, I, I want to touch on, on Sterabrush for one second, and then I want Ian for like for two minutes to touch on Sterablog, because that's something new to, to our business that we're really excited about. Sterabrush has been an interesting product for us because we sort of got very much the same questions about someone's, someone's um, their own oral bacteria making them sick. And I think one of the things that we talk a lot about, because people have brushed their teeth for a long time and haven't necessarily sanitized their toothbrush before, is that it's really not about the bacteria coming from your mouth. It's about the bacteria that comes from the bathroom. We also see a lot of uh, a, a lot of Sterabrush being used in the hotel space, so people who aren't comfortable leaving their toothbrush. Um, when someone is coming in and cleaning the room, it may fall or something may happen to it. Um, to be able to clean it and make sure that, that it is sanitized and safe to put back in your mouth is something really important. And then Ian touched on that third category, which are whether it's spouses or children, keeping their toothbrushes in close proximity, even if they're not touching exactly, there's a lot of opportunity for co-mingling with bacteria that isn't from your mouth at all. So those are just some of the ways in which Sarah Brush becomes a very important component of rounding out sort of that sanitizing routine. The other thing to add before Ian touches on Sterilog is that when we do get a common cold or sick somehow, some way, hopefully, you know, God willing, it's not COVID. Um, when we do get sick, we, we very often don't know where it comes from, how it's manifested, what are some of the daily habits that, that you know, make it more likely for someone to get sick. And so by keeping your aligner sanitized, your toothbrush sanitized, by keeping your hands clean, washing them, all those best practices, you know, keeps you in, a, in your best position to stay healthy. And, and you know, we, we talk about this all the time, about the mouth being sort of the gateway to the body in terms of health and wellness. And so making sure to follow those best practices, not, you know, not exclusive to Steriliner or Sterismile or Sterabrush, but general sanitizing practices is so important. And so that's, that's really where our passion lies for creating this line is keeping people smiling, keeping people safe and healthy. Before I get into Sterilog, funny story. I'm at a hygiene show. And talking with a group of, of hygienists, and we're talking about the stair brush and we're talking about everything that can go wrong in a hotel room with your toothbrush. And um, one of the hygienists turned to me and says, you know what? I don't worry about that at all. And I go, what do you mean you don't worry about that? You're a hygienist. How could you not worry about bacteria going on your toothbrush? She goes, because I lock it in my safe. I wonder how often that safe gets cleaned up. <laughs> so Sterilog. Sterilog is our newest product. It's actually a software and hardware that we supply to the dental offices. And this is going to label and log all of your sterilization procedures. Now, this is great for a whole bunch of different things because everybody since COVID started has upgraded their, um, all, all of their protocols in their office for the health and safety of their patients. Well, this is, I'm not going to say the final stop, step because everybody is constantly upgrading, but there are a whole lot of regulations coming down the pipeline in many states, many dental boards, and they've already happened in Canada. It's just a question of time before each state follows suit. 
and the requirement to label all of your packets, uh, to log every single one of your sterilization procedures, make sure that every test is done that is supposed to be done, and that your biological indicators have been done and recorded. And again, every stage is different. They're all at different stages of where it is, but this will not only help you be compliant with those regulations, but it's also going to help you avoid lawsuits. Um, there have been a number of lawsuits in the last couple of years with patients claiming that they got sick in dental offices. And this is going to show beyond any reasonable doubt that you have done everything that you can for the health and safety of your patients in your chair. So it's something that that is really, really going to pick up a lot of steam. Uh, schools have been asking for it, uh, DSOs, uh, individual dental offices. And it's something that just about every dental office will need to have, not tomorrow, within the next few years. But uh, we believe that we should be ahead of the curve on this. As we begin to wrap up the podcast, if a dentist wants to find out more about what your products can do for them, if it's something they'd be interested in purchasing, a little bit more about the the, money, the monetary aspect of it, because they're always looking, as you know, as, as you mentioned, you know, dentists don't like stocking products per se. Uh, majority of them like to, you know, not, not have to buy a product and wait to sell it. But um, to go over all those options to make sure it's a good fit for them, what's the best way for them to, or, to reach out to you, Ian, or what's the best way for them to contact the company? Um, how do they find out more about the product? Yeah, they can either go to our website at steriliner.com. Uh, they certainly could email me or call me. Uh, they can email me at imiller at steriliner.com. They can call me at our toll-free number, which is 1-800-401-1214. Um, I feel like television people are going to go now, 1-800-401-1214. Um, and, uh, and they could text any way they want to get in touch with us. All these ways that will be on the website so they can, uh, they can find us in any which way on there. And if they're, uh, listeners to the podcast, do you want them to, you know, do you have an offer for them? Do you want to, you know, have them use a code so you know that they're listening to you on this way? What's the best way to get that across? Chip, what do you think? <laughs> it's funny. So I, <laughs> I called Ian before this podcast only like an hour before, and Ian almost always answers the phone. There was radio silence. And I anticipate the radio silence was because what what we're thinking or what I'm thinking to do in terms of in terms of like a special offer for the Raving Patients podcast listeners is gonna be a little different than Ian's. Um, so to to us, it's really important that that we can, you know, provide the opportunity for for doctors to try Seroliner in their office and see the way in which it impacts your practice and your patients. So you know, we were, or I was, I was thinking that it would be really cool to, of course, provide samples um, to to offices. And what what I also think would be really cool is to, you know, take if if a doctor doesn't necessarily want to to request a sample and wants to place an order, we would go ahead and credit back to that doctor um, the price of of that sample to them. Um, we were also thinking to to. Do that. Uh, Ian was talking about that bulk discount at a two case minimum. We were thinking of starting at one case for doctors of the Raving Patients podcast. What we would want for sure, uh, as Len mentioned, is to mention Revi uh, Raving Patients when you call or email Ian. That was my thought, Ian. I don't know if we're in alignment there, but that was that was what I was. I thinking. see what you did there with the line. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, absolutely. Um, listen, what I'd like to do is I'd like these are all these samples are very costly. Um, what I'd like to do is limit it, if we can, to the first 100 doctors that call in for samples. Is that fair? That's, that's fair, yes. Okay. And those samples would be, but our cost is 25 bucks. And we're more than happy if they don't need a sample because they heard Len Tao say um, how great the product was. Uh, and they trust Len. And I believe that a lot of doctors are just going to want to buy it. So we'll give them $25 off of the cases. All right. So guys, $25 off the cases or free or free sample up to the first hundred people. Um, you got it. You know it. Just mention uh, Raving Patients podcast when you reach out so they know that you heard about them through my channels. Um, so as we wrap up, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. 
Um, if you're interested in learning more about what Starliner can do and their new product could do for your for your office, definitely reach out um, to Ian. And um, I know Trevor, we didn't get your information, but we'll, we'll pass that off to Ian so you don't have to deal with that. Uh, you have other more you have more, other more important things to do. So we'll let Ian Ian have that stuff. Um, and you know, if you like this episode, you know, please share it. Uh, please subscribe to the episode. Please promote it. Please let get the word out there as we do this. You can see I'm actually wearing a new shirt today. Ray Vacations <laughs> podcast for the first time came in the mail right before I recorded this with these guys. So I can use your help, uh, you know, promoting this as, as much as you can, getting getting more listeners to the podcast. So Ian, Trevor, thank you mu- so much for joining me today. And remember, your reputation matters. Until the next episode, we'll speak to everyone soon.